Welcome to the Blue Dolphin News Network. I'm Michaela and I am Dana. Please stand for the flag salute. Ready, begin. I pledge of allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, for liberty and justice for all. Now our school motto. Be safe, live responsibly, understand, respect, and encourage each other. Go Blue Dolphins! You may be seated. Birthday celebration. Hello, amazing, amazing human beings. Um, this is Ms. Rodriguez, your school counselor, and I'm so excited to be here with you today. Today, we're going to be discussing Frida Kaolo, and I love her because she is um, an artist. She's a Mexican painter, and she painted many self-portraits, um, portraits and works inspired by nature and artifacts in Mexico. And what I love about her was like her fiery spirit. Like she was not going to let anyone kind of tell her what to do. Um, at that time, sometimes it was not even like her husband was also a painter. And at that time, like he was more respected in terms of paint. And she was like, no, I'm going to push through because I am an artist and I will be respected. So I loved her very fiery spirit. And I love that in terms of making sure that you follow your dream, like whatever your passion is, right? You want to make sure that if you love painting, then paint pick up a brush, pick up a pencil, pick up a crayon, do whatever you want to do, paint, um, draw, do that, right? That's something that's in your heart. And I know a lot of you love going to Mr. Mark's class and he has all these dynamic classes and teaches us all these amazing skills. So continue to practice that. That's something that you like to do. If you like music, for example, my son loves music and he loves instruments and he's kind of self-taught. Like I'll catch him banging on the table, right? And I encourage that, like, bang on the table. Awesome. Let's make sure that we get that creative spirit going always. So I'm going to share really quickly. I'm going to share my screen. And on my screen is a picture of Frida. You may recognize her from her uni brow. She has kind of a brow that connects. So that's a picture of her. And we're going to get straight to her story. Frida Kahlo and her Animalitos by Monica Brown. Illustrated by John Barra. This is a story of a little girl named Frida who grew up to be one of the most famous painters of all time. Frida was special. This is also the story of two monkeys, a parrot, three dogs, two turkeys, an eagle, a black cat, and a fawn. They were Frida's pets and they were special too. Frida had a parrot named Bonito. Like her parrot, Frida was colorful. She liked to wear bold shades that celebrated indigenous Mexico and her own heritage. She lived in the house, the color of the parrot's bright blue feather, La Casa Azul, where she grew up with her mom, dad, and sisters. Frida had a pet fawn named Granizo. Like her fawn, Frida had watchful, beautiful eyes. When Frida closed her eyes, she remembered her life as a little girl. Frida was always with her father, a photographer, who taught her how to look at the world through curious eyes. Frida and her father would walk to the park to collect bugs to look at under a microscope. Frida's father also taught her how to paint finishing touches on his photographs. Frida loved the small brushes and the beautiful colors. Frida had a cat with black, shiny fur, the same color as her long, dark hair. Like a cat, Frida was playful, but as a child, Frida couldn't always play. When Frida was six, she got very sick. She was in bed for a long time. But little Frida didn't get sad or bored. Instead, 
She used her breath to make mist on her window, and then she drew a door with her finger. Frida used her big imagination and curious eyes to walk out the door with a magic friend, a little girl who danced and played like a kitten. Frida was independent, like a cat. Frida's sickness left one of her legs different from the other, and children made fun of her. But this didn't stop Frida from skating and riding bikes and rowing on the lakes of Chapultepec Park so that her leg could get stronger. Frida was not afraid to do things other little girls didn't usually do. She wore overalls and boxed and rustled. Frida had two spider monkeys, Bulang Cheng and Caimito de Gualaban. Like her monkeys, Frida could be mischievous, even when she was a teenager. When Frida was 15, she went to a school called the Preparatoria and found a group of friends she loved. Like Frida, her friends were curious to learn all they could. Together, they read and studied and argued and sometimes got in trouble. Wearing matching caps, they rode donkeys through the halls of the Preparatoria and set off fireworks. Frida had an eagle named Getrudis. Like her eagle, Frida's imagination could fly high. When Frida was 18, she was in a terrible accident, and once again, she had to be in bed for many months. This time, Frida didn't create a magic friend. She created art. Frida's mother made her a special easel and hung a mirror over her canopy bed so Frida could paint. Frida used her imagination and curious eyes to do just that. Feet. What do I need you for when I have wings to fly? And if those weren't enough pets, Frida had two turkeys and three dogs. Senor Xolotin, Senorita Capulina, and Senora Costi. Frida's turkeys were intelligent and sensitive, just like herself. And, like Frida, her dogs were warm and loving. When she was lonely or sad, she would wrap her arms around them and they would comfort her. Her Sholo dogs were the same breed that ran and hunted with the Aztecs thousands of years ago and a reflection of Frida's heritage of which she was very proud. Frida's dogs had no hair, but their bodies were warm and Frida gave them great big hugs whenever she felt lonely or sad. Frida's animalitos were spirited and entertaining, just like Frida. When her two spider monkeys were being good, Frida would hold them like babies. When they were being mischievous, they would steal socks and fruit and leap through windows so no one could catch them. Her parrot named Bonito liked to snuggle under the covers while Frida took naps and would do tricks at the dinner table for pats of butter. Frida's animalitos played all day in the courtyard at La Casa Azul, the bright blue house on Londres Street. Her husband, Diego Rivera, even made the animals a pyramid to climb on so that her pets could roam freely. When Frida painted, her pets would keep her company, and Frida painted all the time, while the birds sang, the dogs barked, and the turkeys danced in the garden. Frida's animals were her children, her friends, and her inspiration. Frida painted when she was sick and hurting, and Frida painted when she was happy. She also painted when Diego was gone and she was sad. But Frida was never really alone at La Casa Azul, the bright blue house on Londres Street. She had her animalitos and herself, and she painted both. Frida painted herself with Fu Lang Cheng playing with ribbons. She painted herself with Bonito the parrot and Señor Cholotil the dog. She painted her black cat too, peeking over her shoulder. Frida painted herself with all the pets she loved so much, and even butterflies and caterpillars. Her paintings were magic. And today, if you visit La Casa Azul in Coyoacán, just outside of Mexico City, 
you might hear the sound of a bird or see a black cat jump from the pyramid that sits in the courtyard of the bright blue house on Londra Street, where Frida and her animalitos lived so many years ago. I love the, um, all of the colors. Frida was known for her like bright colors. She was known for her Hi, very, everybody. very unique. Miss Slocum here. Oh, I'm sorry. This week guys. we're going to be learning about a new artist. There we go. She learned about, I mean, she painted like using bright colors. She painted, she had a very, she was known for her very big imagination as well. So I want to encourage you to make sure to always stay creative, always follow your dreams and never let anyone just take that away from you. Whenever you're passionate about, make sure you practice it. And it's something that you do daily. Have an amazing day.